continues with Colton Howard Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. Well, it took some time, but better late than never. Baseball showing its first glimpses of the year in the Summit City at the Ash Center. Some beautiful weather complementing the first day of the 16U Hoosier Classic, which featured a handful of Fort Wayne teams. First game of the day, we fast forward to the bottom of the final inning. The Fort Wayne Tin Caps down one, not long. Southside's Perry Stowe evens the game. Later on at the outbat, Julian Oscillator pops one up into right field. Lead runner tags it up at third, and he's going to make his way to the plate. Tin Caps take game one on a walk-off. On the next diamond over, the Fort Wayne Diamondbacks trying to regroup after losing their first one of the day. Already down 3-0, but plays like that will keep you in the game, I promise you. Fast forward, next inning. A shot through the gap brings one home to the plate, and the D-backs complete the comeback, winning 7-5. We caught up with 10-cap president Mike Nutter, who was there in dad mode, to get his thoughts on baseball coming back and an update on the 10-caps. You know, we just haven't heard anything. The major league guys seem to be doing a lot of fighting in the media every time you check. Uh, you know, it's getting harder and harder to imagine that we're going to be able to have a season. Again, nothing official, but we're staring down a lost season, and that's tough. Uh, it could be 19 months in between a home game if we don't end up being able to salvage something somehow. So actually, from the more personal standpoint, stuff like this really does help that you can just get out and get a little bit of normalcy back in our lives. It's a brief glimpse. Maybe we can't get eight or 9,000 down in Parkview Field yet, but it means it's coming back. And that's a great thing for the game, and it's a great thing for our community. Already through two games, the 16U 10 Caps are leading the tournament, winning its first two games. The Fort Wayne Diamondbacks splitting its games one and one, and Three Rivers Baseball looks to bounce back after starting tomorrow after dropping game one today. 